Welcome back to another video. In this video I'd like to continue building our health manager and by the end of this video we would have added health bars to each of the units that have already been created in the game. Okay, and to do this I'm going to create another method. It's going to be a public void. I'm going to call it add health bar to units. This is only going to be called once when the game first starts. So call once to assign health bars to units already in the game. And we're going to call this on the start method. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is collect all of the game objects in the scene and then find out which ones are units and then assign a health bar to those units. So there's a built-in unity method that allows us to do this. So we can say game object array. I'm going to call this simply game object array. That's all it's going to be. Equals find objects of type. Type of game object as game object array. Simple as that. The next thing I like to do is make a list object for the units themselves. And to do this, to use lists, we 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 need to um, import collections generic because this generic um, framework has the definition of a list object so important stuff there then we can define a new list so list of type game objects I'm going to call the units list equals a new list of type game object so now we can simply loop through this game object array and find out which ones are units but to do this we need to know what layer our units are assigned to so if we open up the layers manager we know that our unit layer is layer 8 okay guys so you could define it in the method we could define it at the top int layer units layer for example equals 8 let's change that to a lowercase okay so looping through for int i equals 0 i is less than game object array length I plus plus. Then we can say if the game object array at this index dot layer is equal to our unit layer, then we can simply add it to the unit list. Unit list add game object array at this index. Okay, simple as that. So the next thing we can do is test if we found any. So if unit list count is zero then we can return we don't need to do anything else with this method and if there is we can convert the list to an array so I'm going to make a game object array called units equals units list to array very quick way of converting a list to an array and then we can simply add health bars to them using this method we'll code out in a sec so I'm going to loop i equals zero i is less than units length i plus plus add a health bar so adding a health bar bringing in the game object so unit at this index dot game object cool and that's what we need to do then we can return okay so just to make sure this works within this method I've debug logged the unit's name okay so let's go back and see if we have any errors. I don't think we do. So we need to put our health manager on something in our scene so it works. I'm going to put it on the world object. And uh, we used this health bar sprite a few videos ago in a tutorial. I'm going to remove that. Don't need it anymore. So let's play the game. And in our console, we have the solar farm, the female humanoid robot and the robot units so everything seems to work well the system seems to realize these are units now we can go ahead and assign a sprite to them okay so in order to do this we need to refer to the sprite manager so I'm going to attach it to the script as well so public sprite manager I'm going to call this health bar sprite manager and now we have a um, sprite manager object we can drag this on so here's the health bar sprite manager I'm going to drag this on now we can refer to it in our method 
So to do this, we need to find the health bar client. I'm going to call it health bar client equals unit transform find child health bar dot game object. So for example, we, now we found each of these units, we're going to go dive down, get to their health bar object, and then assign the sprite to it and draw the sprite on top of it. Okay guys? So we found the object and now we can create the sprite itself. So sprite health bar sprite equals health bar sprite manager add sprite. So let's just study these for a sec. We need the client object, health bar client. The next thing is the width. Um, I know for a fact that six units wide and one unit in height works very well. So the next thing we need to define is the lower left UV of the sprite. Okay, so it's going to be the full health, it's going to be the sprite in the top left. There's 10 rows and 10 columns. So we can simply say new vector 2. The, the, lower, the UVs work from 0 to 1 in X and Y. So we can say 0 going across and point, 0 0.9 going up. Then we'll be at the point of the first sprite. So this point here. The next thing is the dimensions of the sprite. Again, it's a new vector 2. And because each sprite takes up one tenth of the width, one tenth of the height, we can simply put 0 0.1. 0 0.1 in UV coordinates. The next one is the offset, vector 3, 0. We don't want to offset the sprite in any way. The last option here is billboarded. Let's put false. And this is the sprite. Okay, guys, we've, we've created the sprite at this point. And the last thing I'd like to do is assign this sprite to the health bar itself. So in this health bar from the previous video, we have this script with the with the my health bar sprite on it so we can go back to remove it so so to do this we can refer to the health bar client again get component we called this health bar client script dot my sprite equals health bar sprite so this is the uh, method completed now Let's go and see if this works in the game. There should be sprites above each of our units. Here we go. So there's sprites on each of the robots and there's a sprite here as well. Cool. So before we move on configuring them and everything, I'm going to just code out this method here at the bottom. So to remove a sprite, we need to access the sprite itself, which we have stored here with the um, script, the health bar client script then we can simply use the remove sprites method from sprite manager okay so let's do this now we can i'm going to copy and paste the health bar clients from here as we've passed in the game object again we can get health bar sprite by saying sprite health bar sprite equals health bar client get component health bar client component my health sprite and we can cast this as a sprite once we have it we can simply go to the sprite manager remove sprite health bar sprite cool done so just to recap what we've done here we've got the um, the health bar game object from our unit we know there's a script attached to this that refers to the sprites we've created the health bar then we can simply go to the sprite manager and remove that sprite from it. Okay, so it's quite simple, but there's a lot of things acting together here. We have the sprite manager, the health bar system, and also the events and delegates, but we'll get to them later on. Cool, so everything works now. In the next video, we'll be um, rotating these so they always face the camera, because we're at this, at this current moment, as you can see, they don't do that. And we'll also be controlling their visibility depending on whether we've selected the character. Okay, so thanks for watching the video. Hopefully I'll see you in the next video.